Hey guys, Matt, we're here back working on the Cushman project that uh, you guys have been following along as we've been taking this rusty pile of junk, turning it into something that's cheap and fun to, uh, to mess with. So last time we worked on was the engine and getting the jack shaft and the chain and all that connected so that we roughly had a way to connect the rear wheel to the engine. I'm happy with that. We can do some final adjustments of it once everything's back together and we're ready to ride it, but it's all good for now. So now looking for what we need to do is we need to get this thing all cleaned up so that we can start finessing the body work and get ready to actually start doing the body filler uh, type body work. So originally we were going to just rough this thing in, throw a coat of rusted caps later on and just ride it and have fun. But as we've been working on it, it's getting nicer and nicer and I'm getting more and more excited. So I think we're going to take it to the finish line and make it pretty darn nice. So what we really need to do is take this thing apart and get it blasted and cleaned up so that everything's nice fresh metal and we're not leaving any kind of rust behind that may come back at underneath of a nice paint job. So what we're going to work on today is taking the body apart, take the frame apart, see what kind of damage we might find along the way. We're also going to show you some of the ideas that I had brewing for this project along the way that it's going to make it a real fun and custom project that's going to stand out from the rest. And most importantly, we want to hear from you guys what you think of all the modification I want to do to this and you can help us steer the project as we go along. So let's get started. All right, a little tech tip for you guys or organizational tip when you're doing projects like this. I have a lot of projects obviously around that are all in various states of repair and some of the projects that I know that are going to be apart for a while, what I'll do is I'll use my cell phone to take photos of specialized areas that might be hard to remember how they go back together or maybe they have some specialized hardware. I then make a folder in my phone that will be each of the projects. So this will have a Cushman folder. I have all my photos that are of this when I was doing disassembly and when I'm going back together with it or when organizing the assembly of the, of the project, I can go right in my phone, look at those photos, zoom in, see how everything was put together. We can make sure that we don't mix the hardware up just in case when we have our bagged hardware might get ripped or the hardware gets separated. We know what's what and we can go back together without messing up and having to take things apart and reassemble again. So it's a quick little tip that'll save future you some time and hassle. All right, so I like to use on any project like this that hasn't been apart for a while, some sort of penetrating oil. Uh, my preferred is the Aerocroil. I keep these around for doing lots of stuff, but the Aerocroil is my preferred penetrating oil. So get all your hardware hosed down with that, let it sit for a little while, and it'll make life a lot easier so you're not breaking hardware or there's not as much of a chance. And sometimes it'll save you putting heat to it or extracting the bolt later on, which is kind of a pain. All right, so we got part of the rear suspension apart, and these Cushmans, the, the front and rear suspension is like as simple as it gets. It has, in the rear, it has a little swing arm with some, some little upright brackets, and then there's just a little coil spring that sits in between there, and that is what your suspension is. So as you're driving, you know, that just bounces around and gives you your uh, comfort, if you will. I use that lightly. Um, so what I think would be cool, and I want you guys to tell me, this is just a kind of a wild idea, but could be cool, is, I want to see if we could find some little mini airbags that we put right in between here. And if you see, we're going to show you guys in a minute here. When we take this down, we have a ton of travel. So we should be able to get this thing sitting nice and low where it's like laying the body in the back. We'll give a really cool custom kind of like low rider or bag, bagger kind of look that's dropped down. I think it could be cool. Um, so what do you guys think? 
Is there bags you guys have used or you think would fit in there? I think there might be something for like a Grom or one of those little uh, mini bikes that might work, but I need to research it. But uh, something like this could be really cool and get it sitting nice and low. I can't wait. So I think we might want to cut the body right here just to notch or notch the running board here to get the body to sit down and be more like parallel or level with the ground when it's laid out. Because um, right now the body's kind of sitting up on the edge of the running board here. We want it to sit like the rear end is. And then I think we may want to figure out something for the front. I don't know if we can fit a bag in there or we just cut some coils in the front to get the front end down. But that is really close to how we want it to sit. Just some slight modifications and it'll, it'll lay it out nicely. All right, so we took the front and rear springs out, we took the stands out, set it on the ground, and then we went back and just notched the running board to get the body to sit how I wanted, and it sits like really, really close to how I want, and uh, we didn't even have to wait for your answers. It's gonna get bagged because it just, everything looks cooler sitting lower. So uh, we got it sitting really, really nice and low. I'm happy with that. So now we can break everything apart in the front end here, get it ready to blast, and then we'll do our modifications after we have fresh, clean metal for all the chassis suspension work. All right, so we got everything all apart finally, and uh, what we have left is the chassis, and we have the rear tub, and just a couple of small parts overall, and this thing's pretty simple in the grand scheme of things, but that end section is basically exactly how it is with working on old stuff. You never know what to expect, and when things are going really, really smoothly, all of a sudden, put on the brakes, something gets stuck, so stuck and we're in full-on flailing mode, and that's what happened. I had to go from one hammer and get out the bigger hammer, and just make it happen. And we had to extract that center section, probably partially my fault, partially some corrosion, but either way, we got it out. I'll have to make a new one. The threads are already kind of crappy, so I'm gonna tell myself we needed to do it anyways. It was, it's okay. So now that we have all this stuff apart, 
what we can do is I'm going to break down some of the real little parts just real quickly before we start blasting. But next time what we're going to do, try and get the big parts blasted here before winter hits. We can get all the blasting done. Then we can bring everything inside and we can basically spend the rest of this winter just working on building the chassis up, doing our modifications, getting it bagged and uh, doing all our, the rest of our sheet metal work. And hopefully by spring, we're gonna have a nice painted rideable scooter that is gonna be really, really awesome. So that's all we have for this one. I appreciate you guys watching the Cushman build. If you wanna follow along to all of our Cushman build uh, videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right.